kiss for you. Hello, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 11 of my video series on background video player using Android player in Android Studio. Okay, guys, okay, guys, so we were working on the floating widget the service class, and now what we are going to do is okay, so we are now going to write the code for our custom pop up window. So, there, this we will have a window where we will have some. We will have the exo player, then we need to create the pop up window. So, in order to create the simple uh, pop up window, so first of all, we need to write, we need to make it the relative layout instead of this constraint layout. So, we have the relative layout, then we need to set the width to web content and the height will also be web content and we can set the background to be color slash transparent okay so we will have a transparent color so for the Okay, so the exo player, the color, uh, the transparent color. Okay, so here we have this BG color D2 1A, 1A, 1A. Okay, so here we can name it as BG transparent. Alright, so then we can have we have a view so we can create the view here and we will have the width as 240 dp then the height will be 240 dp or we can say height can be 40 dp only sorry And let's set the item to RR and we can have the background as BG transparent and we have this view here then we will have the image view and the image view we will have will be 40 dp and 40 dp then we will have the padding as 7 dp id we need to set the id as image view dismiss then we will have the source so for this we can say tribal ic clause okay so we need to have the tribal for the ico uh, ic underscore clause so for this we can have the image asset and that's that let me see is there any clause yes we have the clause button here and let's name it to ic close yes we have the IC close here then after this image view we will have another image view that will be for the maximize button so for this we can say image view it will also be 40 dp and the height will also be 40 dp padding will be 7 dp and id will be image view maximize and then we can okay so before this okay we have the image view as 40 dp we will set the padding to 7 dp we set the id to image view and we have the source as IC close and we have this image view we then have 40 dp we have uh, image view maximize and then we can say source to be variable IC open and we have two end of so 
in order to handle we have the image view dismiss and there we have this image view and here we have an error so it says to write off we can also write this to write off okay so now we have these two icons now we need to have the exo player so for the exo player we can say player view and it will be 240 dp and the height will also be 240 dp then we can say below rr and yes and then we can set the id to player view all right so now we have this player view then we can set use controller will be false okay we have id player view and i guess that is enough now Okay, so now we have all the IDs here for the maximize button, minimize, and now we need to bind the views. So in order to bind the views, what we are going to do is we can say player view and it will be equal to player view. Then we can say I'm floating with chat dot find view by id then we can say r dot id dot player view then for the image view so we can say image view image view close then we have a floating with chat dot find view by id r dot id dot image view is this and it's saying an error let me see Floating widget, okay. Let's just remove it. We have the dismiss, and then we can say maximize is working on floating widget or find view by id r dot id dot image view maximize. Okay, and then we need we now need to uh, write the code for the open and the close. So in our first of all, we will write the for the maximize. So we can say image view maximize dot set on click listener new on click listener. And in order to maximize it, okay guys. So I think the video is uh, the video is getting larger so i remove i don't write the code i will write the code for the button click in uh, my next part of the video but now i want to show you that at least we are able to play the video in the background so in order to play the videos in the background okay so i think that it will take a lot of time so first of all let's just write some other things here so we need to write down destroy and inside here we need to check if m floating widget is not equal to null then we can say m window manager dot remove view and we can remove the m floating widget okay so all the other things are fine mm, yes okay guys so i hope that you have understood like what i have done in the video if you still have any questions uh, you can ask me and another thing which i wanted to tell you that here in our video player activity so when we click on 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 back press so we also need to release the video player so we can say exit player dot release okay so we need to release it otherwise it will not play if we go back and and after that if we go back and then play the video 
all right guys so i hope that you have understood if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye